So I used to own all these books right here, and, and I sold them on uh, eBay. And then somebody left a comment that irked me just a tiny bit, not really very much, but it <laughs> made me go on to eBay and buy these books back. The uh, first volume was written in 1959, and I think they were all finished up by the early 60s. Uh, John Mahegan, preference preface by Leonard Bernstein, Horace Silver, Harold Arlen, and Tom Glazer. And the reason I got these books is, is when, I, when I first had this book, and it, I was probably in my early 20s, and it has all these songs. Uh, well, let's do this one. Nice work if you can get it. And I'm going to copy this page here so you can check it out. And the thing is, is even though he got permission to use the copyright and everything. There's no typical chord symbols. There's no melody. So unless you know the song or can look up the song, and you know, back in those days before the internet, uh, it was a little diff difficult to do. You know, this book wasn't very useful to me. And also, I didn't really read. You know, where he really discusses what he means by all these symbols. So I knew some of them, but I didn't know them all. But here's the thing, the, the, the dude who left the comment said that, you know, I'm using the uppercase Roman numerals rather than the lowercase for minor. And, you know, back here on the other page, it's, it just says the two chord is always, yeah, right here, the, the two chord is always minor, all right? The three chord is always minor. The six chord is always minor, all right? And, you know, one and four are major, five is dominant, and seven is half diminished. So to follow this damn thing, and he says to do it in the key of G, but let, let's do it in the key of C because it'll be easier, I think, uh, to understand what's going on here. Not everybody can transpose uh, that quickly, so let's do it in the key of C. And the first chord there is a three, which would typically be a minor chord, okay? You just have to assume it's a minor chord, but according to his... Uh, nomenclature, he's got an X there, which means a dominant chord. Uh, so. Alright. Yeah, so the funny thing about volume one is, is you can't find a 251 in here to save your life. Everything that should be a 2-5-1, like here in the next measure where it's a 2 dominant and then the flat 2, uses that tritone substitution, you know? So typically you would go 3, 6, 2, 5. I mean, that's really the, the right changes for this song. But he's got it. All right? Because they're all dominant chords. And, you know, every, those flat ones are the ones that are tritone substitutions. Then the one, the plus does not mean augmented. It just means add the six. And then the four as a dominant, right? And the two is a dominant chord. And then the sharp two, the little O means diminished. And there's a three chord, right? Now you have to just assume that's minor, which it is, and the six. And the two. There's the four. And what's he got here? Oh, that's like a suspended because the melody is C. So he's got this the sharp what three there. All right. Then we do the same thing again. And, and sometimes, you know, when he does these tritone substitutions, it really doesn't support the melody very well. In this case, it does. Because, you know, a sharp nine chord sounds good there. All right, and then what do we got here? We got the six chord with a six. Now, Huh, I'm lost here. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, it, it goes to the six, which is a minor. Okay, so it's a minor chord, but you add the six. You know, 
you almost think that's going to be a, a major chord, but, but the six is minor. And then we go back to like a C minor, C minor. All right, he wrote the little M there. And the six dominant. And then this, this is a really weird uh, way of writing it, but when he has the double sharp seven, <laughs> It's just a regular chord, so I don't know why he couldn't just write the major chord there. But you have this motion, then the sharp seven, then minor seven, and then that. All right, so let's try this bridge here, see if we can get through it. Uh -oh. Right, the minor with the six, and then the, the th three chord is a half diminished chord. Uh, that's that little symbol there. Uh, ha, I can't think how it goes. I don't know if those chords exactly work there. Uh, that's not the way I play it, that, that's for sure. I do it like, uh, uh, what do I do? probably will look more into these books, especially the later ones here. Uh, you know, uh, volume two is all about the soloing and the, the improvised line. Volume three is about the swing styles. And he really goes into these sevenths uh, and tenths and, you know, how to, how to play them. And then in the contemporary piano styles, he gets into these rootless voicings and also the uh, one seven and one three. I guess that, that's considered modern. <laughs> I don't know. Bud Pal. Uh, but anyway, there's, there's some good information in here and some uh, interesting uh, solos that uh, I might just reprint because <laughs> these books have been out of print forever. All right. That's going to wrap it up for me to, for today. And uh, I will be back. Uh, if you're wondering about my hand here, I had some surgery for a trigger finger and it seems to be coming back okay. It's only been nine days and I can play pretty well, so thank you for all your well wishes about that. Uh, many of you have commented, so I appreciate it. It helps, and uh, see you again soon.